Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Mr. Butterfly. Hi, Mr. B. Hi, Ladybug. Today, I want to talk about self-esteem. What is self-esteem? Self-esteem is believing in yourself. Have you ever had something that was really hard to do? Hmm. Maybe learning how to ride a bike was hard. You just need to believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you can accomplish great things. Today, I would like to read a very cute book about a little caterpillar and self-esteem. This book is called Worth the Weight, a growing up story of self-esteem. On a big green leaf lay a very small egg. Out of that tiny egg crawled a little green caterpillar. Like all new babies, she was hungry. She was so hungry, she ate up the whole leaf. The caterpillar was still hungry, so she crawled off to find another leaf. A bright red ladybug landed nearby. Ladybug! You are such a beautiful color. I wish that I was as beautiful as you. Don't worry, little one, said Ladybug. Just be patient. Keep eating and you will grow to be beautiful. But why do I have to wait, cried Caterpillar. Then she finished eating the leaf and crawled off to find another. A bright green grasshopper hopped onto the new leaf. Grasshopper, you can hop so high, said Caterpillar. I wish I could hop like you. All I can do is crawl. Before you know it, said Grasshopper, you'll be able to travel much further than I can hop. Keep eating so you can grow and be patient. But I don't want to be patient. I want to hop now, Caterpillar whined. Caterpillar finished eating the leaf and crawled off to find another. While Caterpillar munched on another leaf, a big spider dropped in and spun a beautiful web. Oh, spider, sighed Caterpillar. What a beautiful web you're making. I wish I could spin like that. Oh, you will, my plump green friend, said Spider. But you must keep eating so you can keep growing. Be patient, and soon you will spin something extraordinary. Hmm, Caterpillar huffed. I'm tired of being told to wait. She finished eating the leaf and crawled off to find another. Caterpillar ate one leaf after another, growing bigger and plumper every day. She even ate at night when the moon was high in the sky. Just as it was getting dark, a flyer, firefly flitted by. Firefly, you make such beautiful light, said Caterpillar. I am so dull, I wish that I could light up as bright as you. Oh, little Caterpillar, don't fret said Firefly. Keep eating and growing, and one day you will be quite a dazzler. You'll see. Just be patient. But Caterpillar was impatient. It seems that no matter how much I eat and grow, I'm still just green and fuzzy and slow. I don't believe any of them. I don't think I'll ever change, no matter how long I wait. So she ate another leaf and another, but she was still hungry and still unhappy. One day while Caterpillar was munching, a dragonfly landed nearby. Dragonfly, you have such beautiful wings, said Caterpillar. I would give everything to have wings and be able to fly like you. Caterpillar, you have grown very big, said Dragonfly. Soon you will have wings of your own, more beautiful than mine. But you must be patient. It's almost time. Dragonfly fluttered away and Caterpillar thought. Almost time for what? 
The next day, Caterpillar was very tired and not hungry. She just wanted to sleep. She began to spin herself a nice pillow so she could take a nap. Hmm, Spider was right, she thought. I can spin now. She spun and she spun until she surrounded herself with a lovely bed. Caterpillar fell fast asleep, wrapped in her very own cocoon. Many days passed. The sun rose and set. The moon waxed and waned. Some days were sunny and some days it rained. The caterpillar slept through it all in her comfy cocoon. Then one warm sunny day, Caterpillar was ready to wake up. It was time to leave her sleepy place. She pushed herself out of the cocoon. She felt strange, not at all like her old plump fuzzy self. Wait, what's this? I have wings? Caterpillar spread her new wings and they were full of beautiful colors. Oh my, she thought, everyone was right. All I needed to do was keep eating and growing and being patient. Caterpillar was not a caterpillar anymore. She was a bright and beautiful butterfly. Ladybug, look at all my colors. You were right, I just needed to be patient. Look, spider, you were right. I spun a cocoon for myself and look what happened to me. I just needed to be patient. Look, grasshopper, look, dragonfly, I have wings. You are both right. I can fly far and wide, high and low, anywhere I want. The sun started to go down and they, the sky grew dark. The moon rose over the hill. Look, firefly, you were right. Look at the beautiful colors on my wings. See how dazzling I've become? Firefly fluttered by, calling out. And you did it all by yourself. You just needed to be patient. Butterfly was happy. She flew wherever she wanted to, to seeing many beautiful, beautiful things. Even though it seemed to take forever, she thought, the wait was worth it in the end. And now I love my wings. One day, Butterfly landed on a leaf and laid a small white egg. Out of the, that egg crawled a little green caterpillar. Like all new babies, he was hungry and impatient. Wasn't that a cute book? There's another uh, word in that book that we talk about a lot at school, and it is having patience. What does pa having patience mean? What is being patient? That's right, it's waiting with a smile on your face. And like at snack time, it's hard to be patient when you're waiting for your snack to get in front of you. Now I wanna talk about something that sometimes you have to have patience learning, and that is how to glue with a glue bottle. Now, I have a little song that I wanna teach you before I show you how to do it. It goes like this, a dab of glue will do, a dab of glue will do. If you want to glue something on, a dab of glue will do. A glob of glue's too much, a glob of glue's too much. It will take too long to dry, a glob of glue's too much. Okay. So, first you're gonna take the top, and maybe you could practice opening and closing it. That'd be good for your fingers. Open and close it. <laughs> So, see that white part? You don't want that showing. You have to turn it, and then when it's not showing, you know it's open. So then this is a dab of glue, okay? I'm gonna show you. A dab of glue will do. A dab of glue will do. If you want to glue something on, a dab of glue will do. So, there's our little tiny dab of glue. Now I'm gonna show you what a glob of glue looks like. Are you ready? It goes like this. A glob of glue's too much. A glob of glue's too much. Oh no! It will take too long to dry. A glob of glue's too much. That 
is a glob of glue. That is not what we want to do. We want to do a dab of glue. So in your activity bags, what I gave you was a piece of paper that looks like this, just a little dot, not a lot, a dab of glue. So what you do is you practice, and what you're going to have to do is practice squeezing that bottle, okay? Your mom and dad might have to help you a little bit, but still practice squeezing it. And you're just going to do a dab of glue on each little dot. This glue's a little sticky, but that's okay. That's a lot of dots to do, right? It is. Remember, a glob of glue is too much. A glob of glue is too much. It will take too long to dry. A glob of glue is too much. Go ahead and finish the rest by yourself. I hope you like today's activity and remember, always believe in yourself. Bye.